Uzbek to Rady at Venice from the Persian Letters by Charles Louis de Secondat Baron Montesquieu sixteen eighty nine to seventeen fifty five this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org uzbek to Brady at venice coffee is very much in use in paris there are a great many public resorts where it may be drunk in some of these houses gossip is the order of the day in others chess there is one place where the coffee is prepared in such fashion that it renders those who imbibe it witty at least every one who leaves believes that he is four times wittier than when he entered i confess though i am rather disgusted with those talented personages for instead of making themselves useful to their country they waste their abilities on the most childish trifles for example when i arrived in paris i found them quite excited over the most trivial question imaginable it was that of the reputation of a greek poet as to the place of whose birth and the time of whose death the world has remained in ignorance for two thousand years both parties acknowledged that he was an excellent poet the dispute turned solely on the degree of his excellence and each had his own standard of measurement but some of these dispensers of fame had a higher one some a lower and now you have the whole ground of the quarrel it surely was spirited enough the most insulting remarks were interchanged with great cordiality some of the retorts were so acrimonious that the manner of the debate was to me as great a source of wonder as the matter if any one said i to myself were hare-brained enough to attack the reputation of some honest citizen in presence of the defenders of this greek poet he would meet with an unpleasant surprise for i have no doubt that a zeal so sensitive with regard to the fame of the dead would blaze up at once in defence of the living but however that may be i added heaven defend me from attracting in my direction the enmity of the censors of a poet who though he has lain two thousand years in the tomb is not safe from their implacable hatred their fury is now expended on the air what would it be if animated by the presence of a living foe the persons to whom i have referred dispute in the vulgar tongue and must be distinguished from another kind of controversialists who use a barbarous language that of itself seems to increase the range and obstinacy of the combatants there are quarters where these people may be seen contending like a confused mass of soldiers in black regimentals engaged in some hand-to-hand -hand encounter subtle distinctions are their food obscure reasonings and false inferences their very life their trade although at first sight one might imagine its followers would die of hunger really brings them in some return we have had the spectacle of an entire nation expelled from their own country crossing the seas in order to settle in france and carrying with them no other means of provision for the necessities of existence except a formidable talent for disputation adieu paris the last day of the moon of zilhog 1713 end of uzbek to ready at venice from the persian letters by charles louis de secondat baron montesquieu 1689 to 1755